Netflix has had its fair share of disappointments lately, primarily in its flagship original film department. But every once in a while there comes an overlooked low-budget film that Netflix quietly releases under the radar and surprise surprise, it turns out to be something special. That is exactly what happened to Six Balloons. After a fairly quiet premiere last month at South by Southwest, even though it had positive reactions across the board, Netflix also almost stealthily released Six Balloons this Friday. It is directed by Marja Lewis Ryan, a first-time director, and it is a story about drug addiction and its impact on everyone around it. Katie is planning a surprise birthday party for her boyfriend when it turns out that her brother Seth has just relapsed on heroin. That begins a tense emotional journey which spans over the course of one day in downtown LA. I was purposefully vague on the plot description here because this film is much more than just a generic drug-related drama. Unlike other movies with similar subject matter, Six Balloons decides to shift the focus on the people around the addict, presenting you a very raw, relentless depiction of a dysfunctional family which is being crippled and torn apart by addiction. In spite of the short running time, the film is just 75 minutes with credits, it's still a very tough yet very rewarding watch thanks to an unconventional, unique approach of the director and strong performances from the whole cast. Structurally, the film feels very much like a road trip movie, but obviously this is a very rough and condensed description. With such a brief running time and the general uneventful nature of the movie, Six Balloons is more of a character study and what's particularly interesting is that it's mostly a film about Katie. We see her struggle with everyday life as the attention moves to her brother and his self-destructing behavior. She has a problem with being able to connect with her friends, family, boyfriend. Basically everyone around her gets affected because of Seth's addiction. Another interesting addition to the plot is the inclusion of Ella, Seth's four-year-old daughter. Her presence over the course of the film intensifies the dramatic events which happen on screen and it adds a sense of day-to-day -day realism to the narrative. Strangely enough, when we think of Dave Franco, the first things that come to mind are his comedic roles. The Jump Street movies, Neighbors, and most recently The Disaster Artist. But he's had his fair share of dramatic stuff over the years. Personally, I loved his performance in the Joss Wongbo show Easy and he was also pretty good in Nerve. But Six Balloons is definitely so far the peak of his acting career. It's evident that he really studied the character, that's why his portrayal of Seth feels terrifyingly real and resounding. However, as I've already mentioned before, he isn't the main character here. Abby Jacobson as Katie single-handedly carries most of the film on her shoulders, and she really is a highlight of the film. Fresh off her role in Broad City, this is a very different and bold move for her career, and she captured the on-screen character perfectly. It's a powerhouse of a performance. On the technical side of things, I think the film is very impressive. Despite some questionable shots in a couple of scenes, shaky cam in particular, the cinematography is still great. Some beautiful shots of dimly lit rooms and corridors, a lot of intimate close-ups, and just overall it felt very natural and fitting. Also commendable is the soundtrack, which ranges from throbbing ambience to beautiful calming sounds of piano. It's wonderfully done. Now something that I really did not like here is the ever-present blunt metaphor that is being used throughout the film. The audiobook effect was interesting at first, but as the chapters went on, it became more and more obvious what the director was going for. Due to that, the ending felt less impactful, even though it was a logical finale to the overarching allegory. Regardless of the aforementioned issues, Six Balloons is still a very effective drama with a surprisingly unorthodox message. Maybe the running time could have been extended a bit and then the film wouldn't have relied so heavily on the clear-cut metaphor, but even as it is, it's still a solid debut for a promising new director. I've given Six Balloons 3.5 out of 5 stars. It's on Netflix and it's also very very short, so give it a shot. Thank you for watching, as always leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more reviews from yours truly. Lately I've been getting a ton of support, so thank you all from the very bottom of my heart, I really appreciate it, it's amazing. I wish I could thank each and every one of you personally. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.